Jeffrey Sterling of O'Fallon, Missouri, is a former CIA officer. Jeffrey Sterling began his CIA career in 1993. Sterling's new book is Unwanted Spy, The Persecution of an American Whistleblower. Whistleblowing isn't about the whistleblower, it's about what has been brought forward. In 1998, Sterling was assigned a CIA case that would change his life, Operation Merlin. Operation Merlin was a top secret CIA mission intended to slow the development of Iran's nuclear program. It involved delivering to Iran phony blueprints for a nuclear warhead. In theory, the flawed blueprints would send Iran's government down a technical dead end, wasting large amounts of time and money. Sterling saw Operation Merlin much differently. He told U.S. Senate investigators that the secret program could potentially provide enough real information to speed up Iran's nuclear program, and phony blueprints weren't likely to fool Iranian scientists. If they knew immediately that something was wrong with the plans, then they would know how to fix it. And that would not have delayed their program by a number of years. It may have sped up their program by a number of years. During seven years at the Central Intelligence Agency, Sterling was one of the agency's only African-American case officers. He became frustrated at his lack of advancement. So I asked why I was not receiving assignments and flat out told that I kind of stuck out as a big black guy speaking Farsi. And um, that was a thunderclap on me. And I was like, well, when did you realize I was black? Why does that make a difference? Sterling took the unusual and ill-fated step of filing a racial discrimination lawsuit against the CIA, one of the most powerful organizations on the planet. I knew possibly that that was going to be the end of my career uh, with the organization. But I had to be able to look myself in the mirror and be okay with who I saw. Not surprisingly, the discrimination lawsuit versus the CIA went nowhere, thrown out of court to protect secret information. The CIA fired Sterling. He returned to Missouri, where he battled depression. I did attempt suicide, because um, I felt there was just nowhere to go. I had this trying to fight this giant, and I just felt there was no way out uh, for me. I couldn't find work, even with my background. No one would talk to me. Um, I was alone in the world. Although Sterling had been out of the CIA for several years, the organization wasn't done with him. The government arrested Sterling and charged him with espionage. The CIA had accused Sterling of being a source for the book State of War by former New York Times reporter James Rison. Rison's book included detailed descriptions of top secret information about Operation Merlin, which caused the CIA to immediately halt the top secret operation. I became an easy target. Uh, for the CIA, the disgruntled employee playing the black card and didn't win the discrimination suit. Sterling is accused of leaking details about a botched CIA operation in Iran. Prosecutors allege that Sterling was trying to get revenge on the CIA when he served as a source for Ryzen. Sterling served two years of a three and a half year sentence, but insists he was not the source for state of war. I absolutely did not reveal or disclose any classified information to Mr. Risen. Knowing everything that you know now, would you do this all over again? Or would you do things differently? I have certainly asked myself that question, and I've certainly had the time to mull that over. And every time I think about it, I would not have done anything differently.